Xtrace tool creates a report with information on unknown values such as X, U and don't care values. You can select enable Xtrace option under design menu, settings, simulation category. Also enable generate advanced data flow option so that you can see the X values graphically. Please check if you have enabled debug under compilation. VHDL and if your design is Verilog then check Verilog category. If debug switch is enabled then you don't need to enable the extras option. Let's compile the design. Please check the console for any errors or warnings. Everything looks okay. Let's go to simulation menu and initialize the simulation. You can set the extras tool from simulation menu Xtrace option and then choose Xtrace on or you can right click on the top level in the design browser and click Xtrace and then click Xtrace on. In this window you can set Xtrace options. This is the top level on which we are applying the Xtrace. In this section you can set all these settings, pause simulation, values traced like X, U, here you can specify the stop condition. Console messages allow you to specify how signals will be reported. Cross probing occurrences of unknown values can be observed in advanced data flow window or HDL editor. Let's set it to HDL editor for now. Format this option specifies the format of Xtrace report. For details on other options, please refer to active HDL help. When you click OK, you will see the message about certain number of signals have been X-traced in the console. Now run the simulation to see the signals in the console. When you click on the message in console, the HDR editor window will open and places the insertion point in the line of an HDL source where a sequential or a concurrent statement that caused the unknown value is located. Now let's end the simulation and reinitialize the simulation so that we can try the advanced data flow option. We will open the extras options window and set the cross probing to advanced data flow. Check the extras signals in the console and run the simulation. Now clicking on the message will open the advanced data flow window with the extras net highlighted in red. Let's check one more signal. Advanced data flow window provides nice graphical view. Right click on the net and let's check X-ray option. This option will help you locate the source of X values. You can move around in this window and check the values of signals. Let's close all these windows. Now we will see how to enable X-ray tool through script commands. And in this script, we will select a part of script say till asim command. As we don't want to run the full script, this blue gear only executes the selection of the script. You can see simulation message in the console. Let's select the xtrace command with hdl source cross probing switch in the script and execute it by using the same blue gear button. You can see the xtrace message in console. Now run the simulation by typing run command in the console. You can scroll up in the console to see the X traced signals. Let's close the HDL editor and open the script again. Now we will reinitialize the simulation by selecting the part of script till asim command and execute it. Let's select the advanced data flow switch in the script this time and execute the selection. Check the console for extras messages. Run the simulation by typing run command again and clicking on the extras messages will open the advanced data flow window with extras net highlighted in red. Thank you for watching this presentation.